Yo, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kemi Omorube. In today's video, I want to discuss with you guys. I put up in my community tab last week that I was going to make a video on this dress. I started it up and um, I couldn't finish that day. So my plan was to round it up on Tuesday and put it up. Unfortunately, this week has been very busy for me. I have been busy with clients dresses and all of that which is supposed to be a good thing but um okay let me just give you a little bit of background before i started fashion designing before i learned fashion designing um i actually wanted a place where i could learn how to make ready to wear and that was my main area of focus but when it was time for me to start the business properly i advertised and i started getting clients clothes that's bespoke tailoring and somehow I got caught in that web so I continued with bespoke tailoring for the period I was at home till I moved out got a place and bespoke tailoring just continued even though I tried to make ready to wear but I just found myself in this piece that I didn't intend to be which is taking fabric for clients sewing for them and giving them back their work so beginning to you know it's beginning to get to me necessarily i've been thinking of dropping this aspect of the business for the past three years now in fact since camera started i've always wanted that time when i'll say i'm not taking your outfit i'm not making custom made outfit i just want to produce ready to wear and teach yes that's another aspect I am passionate about teaching and ready to wear. So teaching online, offline, on YouTube, I'm passionate about that. And now it seems like this part of the business that was not the plan in the first place has been taking a larger part of my time, has been taking a larger part of my creativity. It's affecting me mentally and I don't get so much job fulfillment from doing it. And I just think it's time for me to look at what's working for me and what is not and niche down a little bit so I can focus. The truth is when you try to do a lot of things, you spread yourself too thin and that way you're not effective in most cases. So I love you guys so much. I love doing YouTube. At the same time, I love creating online courses. I love creating ready to wear pieces. And at this point, I'm deciding to drop bespoke tailoring. Um, it has its own advantage because it's one aspect that has kept this business going on. So Chem Africa officially started two years ago. That's aside the time when I was sewing from home. It officially started two years ago. These two years are very different. In my first year, I did bespoke tailoring like my life depending on it does i just continued what i was doing at home and it didn't quite work out um i think i'll be sharing a video on the mistakes i made in my first year of business so if there's anyone thinking of starting a fashion business you can pick from that so you don't make similar mistakes in that first year i made lots of mistakes and the truth was i made losses over and over i mean from that whole year, we have 12 months, right? Let's say I made, I made a loss in my business six months and profit six months. And that was with me not paying myself because I wasn't dependent on what I was getting from the business at that time. So I wasn't really paying myself or I barely pay myself. So, and still I could not make such, I mean, I couldn't do so well with it because I brought over what I was doing at home. At home, of course, there are no bills. I don't pay electricity, a separate electricity bill for the business. I didn't need to pay rent. I didn't need to pay any other thing, you know. I just collected fabric, bought material, and added a little profit to it. So I took that over to Bespoke Tailoring after I got a place and it didn't work out. I remember when it was time for me to pay my rent, I panicked because I couldn't get it on time. So I was able to put in place one or two things within that time and that helped me to pay up. Meanwhile, the second year, which was last year, 2020, we all know what happened last year, COVID-19. So that forced me to do less of bespoke tailoring. I didn't have an option, okay? People weren't bringing out feet. There were no occasions. And so bespoke tailoring was on 
all-time low. And I realized that was my best year. Like, last year was so amazing. Kema Freak experienced growth. We expanded, we took in more students. And last year, I created three very beautiful courses. Um, the beginner's class, jacket master class, and the treasure master class. And aside that, on YouTube alone, I made over 40 videos. And the whole team just worked so well. And I, f I just feel, okay, if this part I enjoy so much also works so well, then what's my excuse? Like, <laughs> what are we saying? So before I go on, let me just say this is for me. There are people doing bespoke tailoring and they're doing it well. But I just feel it's not really my thing. This is me analyzing my life finding what works for me and focusing my attention on what works for me and dropping what isn't working for me. So I'm not saying bespoke tailoring is bad for anybody. No, this is specific to me. The, one of the challenges I have with bespoke tailoring was that restriction. You know, people bring their fabric, they want you to replicate style. I just feel I prefer to draft my own designs and create my own ways. Then you can come and pick if you like it. If you don't like it, go. Yes, I was doing pretty well in it, and it wasn't that it wasn't so bad. I was doing it, you know. I was very busy, but I realized when I measure the impact I could make as a bespoke tailor, and I compare it to what I can make as uh, a teacher, as a fashion teacher, and also producing my own ready-to-wear uh, pieces, it far outweighs the former. And Aside from the monetary gain or whatever profit I'm able to make from creating courses, teaching, physical teaching, and ready to wear, I get more fulfilled doing these things. Like I have my time, I'm in total control of my time, I'm not under pressure. And this can be good and bad at the same time because I now need to put pressure on myself so I can be effective, which I'm totally fine with. I don't I don't have to be outwardly motivated. So I get more fulfillment from this thing. And if bespoke tailoring is beginning to take so much from me that I can't do the things I love. And these things I love, how I put I see them as scalable. For instance, the bespoke tailoring I do, even though I sometimes get clients from outside my location, which is Benin City, Nigeria, I can reach the world from YouTube. I can reach the world with my online classes. Like my ready to wear PCs, I can export them, you know. I see it as something more scalable for me than bespoke tailoring, okay? So it has that versatility that I can work with. Bespoke tailoring, again, another challenge I have is while I was trying to create a balance, I increased my price because I started considering things I should have been considering from the beginning, like my rent, cost of machines, and all of that. And in my environment, it now seems like I'm actually pricing high when I'm barely, you know, managing the price I give my clients. Like, the clients complain about the prices, and that's one thing to consider when citing your fashion designing outlet for bespoke tailoring especially. The environment affects a lot. In Benin City, for instance, I know places where you can make a lace dress for 20, 30,000. And then because the people around me are not that class of people, I needed to, you know, create pieces that are affordable to them. And I was having issue with it because I didn't want to be using substandard lining, for instance, threads, everything I use and the service I render and the space I'm giving to you, the environment kind of cannot cope with that. So that's, that, that's actually one of the reasons, again, why it wasn't fulfilling. At the point I thought, okay, increasing my price may make this better. Maybe if I increase my price, it will be worth the while. But even if I increase the price, these other factors of me not enjoying the process, not having job fulfillment in this comes into place. And I think I'm done. Guys, 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 guys. I just changed my outfit. Actually, I was ready to create video for my other channel and I didn't want to wear exactly the same thing. If you want to learn how to make a reversible bomber jacket, please join the next jacket masterclass. This is a part of it, one out of the many other types of jackets you will learn. Okay, so I remember the point that I should have shared with you earlier on and that's another reason why I don't want to continue bespoke tailoring. 
So it was beginning to affect me, um, my state of mind, you know, emotionally, because I get so busy, I don't even have time for the things that matters, you know, like my kids, my husband, the home front, okay, I get so busy out of my control. It's not bad if you are busy within your control, but I get busy out of my control because of the pressure from clients. Mm, because things don't just always work out that way, but sometimes I get pressured from clients and like this week and last week, for instance, I've not really been myself, so I'm not able to focus on things that are important to me and that affects me mentally. For instance, my midweek services, I will skip it. I'm not staying home well, pick my kids late and dropping them off late, you know, a whole lot of things. I don't have time at home, then I'm touchy at home because my head, even when I'm at home, I'm thinking of that design. I don't know how to put this. Maybe you're looking at this and you're saying it's not bad, it's part of the man. No, I know how I work, I know myself, okay? I can create designs on my own and I'll be fine. I'll still be in a good state. I don't know. Like I said, this is for me, okay? I'm just sharing with you guys. Don't, because of this video, say you want to quit Facebook Taylor. It might be working for you like it is working for a lot of people. So don't mind me. Maybe I'm a special breed, but it isn't my teen and that's why I'm dropping it. Okay, guys, on to the next. So at this point, I've decided to drop Bespoke Tailoring and I'll be focusing more on you guys, my YouTube community. I'll be creating more online classes. I'll be teaching on my Facebook community. That's Chemafric Fashion Tutorial. So if you are not on any of these platforms, I'll put a link in the description box. So I'll be doing more of these things alongside the physical classes that I have with my students. Guys, if you are looking for a fashion school, you're in Benin City or you want to come to Benin City, please come to Chemafric Fashion, okay? We will teach you well. You'll be well grounded in fashion designing before you go and we're, we're always getting better. I call this place the fastest growing fashion school in Nigeria, yeah, in Nigeria. My first and second year experience has taught me to put these two together and for me, the other aspect works way better because I'm passionate about this, I'm able to do it well and it's profitable. So why should I be struggling with what isn't my thing and it isn't working? A huge thank you to all of my bespoke clients, okay? Sorry to those who are disappointed that I'll be stopping bespoke tailoring. I won't be taking your fabric anymore. And if you have your fabric in my showroom, please come and pick it up. I'm not doing it again. Thank you very much. And to you, my YouTube community, I'm here for you, okay? From now on, we'll have more time and I'll be putting up one or two videos weekly while I take care of my fashion academy and with time, we'll be creating ready-to-wear pieces and I'll be sharing pictures in the community tab. So if you don't check our community tab yet, please do that. So if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, right down, 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 I think, uh, this is always confusing for me. I think it's this corner, okay? Just click on the subscribe button. And when you do that, there's a notification bell, tiny bell beside that. Click on it so that you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. So um, that's all. That's all. Thank you for watching. And see you in my next videos. Go ahead and watch the other videos I have created so far. Remember, this community, we are all about sharing love, sharing knowledge. So be a part of us. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And place your comments in the comment section. Bye.